So apparently on my last Facebook ads, Instagram ads, A-B testing video, I skipped over something that I shouldn't have. So this is me not skipping over that now. You absolutely should be A-B testing. Like if you're not running A-B test and you're running Facebook ads or Instagram ads, you're not running your ads right. You should absolutely be Facebook, uh, sorry. You should absolutely be split testing, A-B testing, split testing, A-B testing. They mean the exact same thing. So you have your original, you create a copy of the original, change one tiny variable in it. So now you have two different ads with only one small change. And the idea is that you're able to see if that one small change makes that ad perform better than the original one. And you continually test these small changes and event, you know, eventually, or maybe even quickly, that leads to a much better ad than the original one that you have. So when you're setting up an A-B test and the how you do that has actually changed recently inside of Facebook. Um, but so what you do now is right here, this is like setting up a regular campaign, pick your campaign type. I'll just use traffic for example, we'll continue. Okay, and then it'll bring you to this page, which is not quite the ad set section yet. It's still a new campaign section, but I guess just a different part of the new campaign section. But right here is where you can choose A-B test. And really all you can do right here is just click get started if you want to create an A-B test. And then you just have to go through and finish up setting the ad, finish setting up the ad, finish up creating the ad, whatever. And so just do that. I'm not gonna do that right now. Just gonna click through this stuff to show you how it works. So now you'd be in the ad set section, choose all your targeting, placement, budget. I'm gonna click next. Now you're in the ad section. Make sure you've got everything filled in here. And I've gotta put in a URL to be able to publish. And it's after you publish that's when you get into the A-B testing stuff. Okay, now with that in there, I'm just gonna click publish. Now it brings you to this pop-up box, which is the create A-B test box. Right here is where you'll select a variable, image, add text, age and gender, or saved audience. In my previous video, I skipped over custom. So I'm gonna click into custom and show you what that's about. But these are the typical variables uh, you know, that it's offering you to click into, and they are great ones to test image, text, age, gender, audience. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying to skip over those by any means. I'm just saying if you have something else you want to test besides that, here's how you do that. Click into custom, and then it'll tell you right here what's going on. So we'll create a duplicated version of your selected campaign, which you need to edit. And by the way, when you set it up this way, I explained this better in my previous video, so I'll pop that up right here. Maybe you'll go give that a watch. But uh, it, when you set it up this way, where we, where we click the get started when we're setting up a campaign, that's going to A-B test at the campaign level. So campaign against campaign, not ad set against ad set. This is just campaign against campaign. So now we'll click next. And if you look right here, what happens next, we'll duplicate your selected campaign, which you can edit and publish. So what you're doing is just creating the duplicate campaign right now. That's literally all that's happening. And then you'll go into that duplicated campaign, make the custom adjustments that you want to, literally whatever you want to do in there, you go in there and do it. And then once you publish that new campaign, the new duplicate campaign that we're creating right here, then the, t the test, the A-B test will go live, will start to happen once that campaign is actually published. So it's got the key metrics you can use for determining which is a winner. You can set that as the cost per result, cost per click, cost per 1,000 people reach, cost per purchase. You can ho hover over more metrics. Here those are right here. If you wanna oddly, awkwardly scroll through those and find the one you want. But like cost per lead, if you're running lead gen, you know, that would be a good one to use. So a bunch of different options. You'll have to figure out which one most suits you. If you're, for example, running, selling something on your website, conversions. If you're trying to collect leads, lead gen anyways that's how you do that now you just click create a uh, duplicate campaign and you'll see now we are in the new campaign copy and over here in the left we'll see that here's the original campaign and now we're inside of the new one and so now we would want to go through here and make whatever custom changes that we want to make and customs up to you whatever you're trying to test whatever variable changes you want to change and test and see if they improve your advertising that's for you to decide here out of all the different options but just go make those changes click publish like i'll do this, do that right now i'll click publish now i'm going to close out of this and go to my campaigns and then you'll see right here that we've got the original campaign and the copy campaign um, with the beaker showing that it's a test and that that a b test is running and active and then to see you'll so you can see some of the results just right here inside of your ads manager but if you go into the experiment section the experiment section is where you'll really be able to see more in depth your test and their results